Hello, YouTubers. I thought I'd ask a little question around, hopefully get an answer to, and uh, share my own memories a bit. Like, um, the question is, did you have any motorcycle riding experience? Not like riding, riding experience, but any motorcycle experience before you learn to ride? I have three stories I want to tell. And I have no idea where I am going. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have ever been on this road before. Anyway, <clears throat> I have three stories that I want to share with you. Um, my experiences on the motorcycle. So, the first time I rode an on the bike, not rode the bike, but rode on the bike, was, uh, I'm not sure of the year, but I was something like five or six years old, so it had to be just before Estonia rega regained independence, and I ended up on a gravel road. Mm. Lovely. I have no idea where this road takes me, so fingers crossed it takes me somewhere. Oh, little bridge. So as I said, I was uh, five or six years old. Um, we had to go to the store, and there was, I think, four of us, including the bike owner. Uh, the bike was, I think, a Soviet-ish 350 and um, I think the tank was yellow I'm not quite sure anyway I sat on the tank because I was the smallest I held on to the handlebars I had my each of my legs on the either side of the fuel tank um, the bike owner was the one riding, and then there were two more people behind us. I can't remember who, but I'm expecting my sister and my mother, but who knows. The ride was some... Oh, look, tarmac. The ride was some three or four kilometers, so not much. But, uh, of course, as you can expect, no safety gear. I mean, none of us were, wore any safety gear. Even the bike owner did ha didn't have his helmet on. He did own a helmet. But helmets back in the day, maybe in the Western countries, helmets had started to develop by then already. But over here, we still had what we called eggshells pretty much and um, they were just as protective as eggshells um, I mean that was um, I think it was glass fiber maybe thin thin shell you could see the light through it if you lift it up there was no foam no protective foam not even a padding inside uh, it was like a half helmet at best, and uh, more likely it was like, uh, you know, si more similar to old uh, German war helmets, with the difference that the war helmets were out of metal, and this was just uh, glass fiber. And it had a couple of leather straps to strap it on your head so it w wouldn't fly away with the wind. 
Um, I remember I actually dropped one of those uh, from a cupboard uh, from about my chest height. And I mean my, my chest height at the time when I was a child. Um, and it cracked. So, yeah. I would expect that you got hurt if you hit a sparrow. Anyway, that was my first experience. Nothing too special happened uh, that I can recall of, but um, that was the first time I was on a motorcycle while it was riding, and um, there were four of us on the bike. Um, next time, and you see the numbers will be decreasing here, besides my age, um, I was already in school, and a friend of my classmates had a dirt bike, which I think is, or was a Z250, I think, I'm not quite sure, I don't know the dirt bikes that well, um, and I'm back where I started. How nice, how nice. Let's try the other side. So, <clears throat> a friend of my classmates had this dirt bike. Um, they decided that we need to ride around on it, and they came and picked me up. There were three of us on the bike. See, told you, the number would be de decreasing. Um, then we rode around on forest trails and back roads and um, on a couple of larger streets too. Uh, of course, none of us had any safety gear. That goes without saying. But uh, the bike wasn't even street legal. It was made for racing. You know, dirt bike racing. Motocross. And it didn't even have lights or a number plates or anything. So, uh, the owner of the bike, who was the oldest of us, uh, sat in front, I was in the middle, and my friend uh, sat behind me. Now, as it was a racing bike, the seat was meant for one person. Um, the bike owner did sit a bit in front, uh, like almost on a gas tank, so I also had some of the seat, uh, but my classmates had to sit on a, the mud guard, which luckily was made out of metal, so it was able to support him, but still, on a mud guard, not even a seat. Um, on the streets, the bike owner, who as I said was the oldest of us, but I probably didn't mention that I think he was the stupidest of us, decided it's a good thing to ride about 80-90 kilometers per hour. That's roughly the speed I'm doing now. Dropped me off at the end of the day. We survived. We didn't crash or anything. Um, I went inside, they left. Uh, I went into the kitchen, made myself a sandwich, and while I was eating, I looked outside through the hedge, I saw something that reminded the silhouette of that dirt bike. And I thought, like, wait a minute, why are they parked right here? They were supposed to go home. Uh, then I spotted behind them something that looked suspiciously like a police van. Uh, when I went out to investigate, it turned out that indeed it was a police van and they pulled out on the street right in front of the police van. So of course, 
bike without a plate and two kids without helmets on it. Um, that's a thing that can spark the policeman's interest. So the policeman had his interest sparked and decided to pull them over. Uh, of course, there were no driving licenses that could be taken away, so they got the fine, or I think only the bike owner got the fine, and the bike was confiscated. Now, these days, when you get uh, your vehicle confiscated by the police, they order a flatbed and have the flatbed take your vehicle to a dedicated police parking lot. Back in the day, not so much. Um, back in the day, policemen decided it's the best idea to hop on the bike and ride to the police station while the kids are in the van with the other policemen driving behind him. Do you think that policemen have motorcycle helmets in their equipment? No, and they did not have them back then either. So, as my friend described later, they were riding on the road some for five or six or some kilometers uh, till they reached the police station the policeman in front, who we don't even know if he had a motorcycle license, uh, tried to take the max out of the bike, riding in police uniform without a helmet. A role model. Anyway, um, that was the second story. And the third one was with the same classmate, but without that dirt bike owning friend. Um, the classmate uh, bought a uh, Mint 125cc bike and uh, decided to fix it up. It had some kind of engine trouble, and he was a mechanics enthusiast, so he was able to fix it in no time. Uh, he called me over to celebrate, uh, <coughs> and uh, it was already late evening when he decided that a test ride is in order. So, a little cruise around the block? Why not? We hopped on the bike, of course, without helmets, and to my surprise, uh, the cruise was at around 100 kilometers per hour which is slightly faster than I am riding right now. And this was in a heavily populated area. The bike light was so poor that I can't remember it illuminating anything. I'm, I mean, it was lit, but it just didn't have any powerful uh, light beam in front of it. And uh, I remember distinctly that when my friend accelerated, uh, his cap flew off right into my face, but <laughs> I was holding on to him so strong that I could not take either of my hands off him to take the cap away from my face for at least a minute or two. So, yeah, this kind of experiences. So, let me know. If you have had anything similar, or worse, I don't mind worse, I, ne I need to know that I'm not the only stupid person on this planet. And uh, I don't care if you are going to post a reply a year later or two years later, just when you find this video and you think you have something to share, go ahead, share, I want to know, I really, really want to know what have you done on motorcycles, or what have your motorcycle experiences been before you learned to ride. Thanks for watching, and um, until next time.